All right, from Eric. Oh, great and wise, Clavin, knower of all the best words, um, whose cranium reflects God's light and banishes the darkness. True, and whose name is not spelled with ease. Four years ago, my younger sister came out to my family as a transgender male. Having been raised in a conservative Christian family, this has caused some drama, uh, to say the least. She insisted that we call her by a new name and use male pronouns. I think you can tell by the pronouns I'm using a bit of how I feel about it. However, out of respect for her wishes and a desire not to create a divide between us that would prevent me from further speaking into her life, I acquiesced and do, as does the rest of my family, at least while in her company and when referring to her the majority of the time. Thankfully, our family has not split over this and still regularly spends time together eating, laughing, and enjoying one another. She eventually married her girlfriend of several years, and again, while none of us really supported the marriage, I and all but one other family member attended the wedding because she deeply desired for us to be there. She knows generally how I feel about everything, and I assume thinks I'm a bit blinded by my conservative Christian views. She also knows I love her immensely, which has enabled us to uh, have dialogue about the whole issue on occasion. I wonder, though, if I am approaching this in the right way. Am I being hypocritical? If I am just enabling and encouraging a lifestyle I do not agree with, I think may ultimately be unhealthy. Or if I should continue to stay the course I'm on, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Love the show, and thank you for helping to keep me sane. God bless Eric. Eric, I think you're doing exactly the right thing. You are not in charge of her life. You are not in charge of her life. She knows how you feel. You're not being a hypocrite. She obviously understands the, you know, your feelings about this, but you are giving her God's love. That is what God would do. God sits down to dine with sinners and gives them love. It may save them and it may not because they have their own free will. Uh, your, um, your sister has her own free will. She is living you know, a life that you disapprove of. It may be, it may be she's in so much pain uh, with who she is that it's the only life that will give her relief. I don't know. I'm not speaking for her or against her. I'm just saying that you're doing the right thing. Give her the love. Let her know how you feel. If there's ever a chance that she wants to come to you and talk about it, uh, you know, she can do it. Otherwise, I think you, that you and your family are acting admirably. I think you're acting admirably. What would you gain? What would she gain? What would God gain by you, uh, you know, constantly hammering uh, her about something that she already knows you feel. I mean, what what would she gain? But she might gain. She might gain a path uh, to God through your love. And that is, it's the only path as far as I'm concerned. And uh, so I think you're doing the right thing. 